everybody. How's it going? Stout Man coming back at you once again. And today I am here to talk to you about some Blu-rays that I picked up. I didn't pick up a whole lot, mind you. But uh, this year I kind of have decided that I'm not going to be buying a whole lot of Blu-rays. A lot of the like lower-priced $5 titles that I wanted or whatnot, I've already picked those up, right? The lower-priced titles that, uh, you know typically always in the five to eight dollar range I've already picked up most of them most of them are already in my collection I don't need to buy them anymore because they I have them I own them so uh, this year is gonna be a lot more by, about buying the higher price titles that never drop in price that I really want to pick up and some of these well I would say both of these kind of fit into that but for different reasons one of them is a movie that I just recently saw for the first time it's a brand new movie and uh, it's quite a good movie. I think I'll just start off with that one, eh? Uh, I highly recommend this movie. I'm going to say that before even showing it to you, alright? It is an excellent horror movie, a haunted house horror movie with uh, actors who have been involved in the horror scene for generations, not decades, generations of horror. So it's important to understand the deep connection to horror that this movie has and perhaps that will help to explain why it's so goddamn good we are still here this movie can, first of all can, can we just appreciate here can we just appreciate this cover art this is glorious beautiful cover art this harkens back to the days of fucking VHS cover art because if you can tell here it's artwork it's painted it's beautiful it is a painted beautiful amazing fucking cover amazing artwork here I absolutely love this artwork that's one of the reasons I wanted to pick it up but you know of course the main reason was that this movie is so good it's so spooky it's so scary it really does make you kinda of go Ooh. now if you're a horror buff, a horror fan, and you're used to horror movies, then that's not something that you really see a whole lot of. It's not an experience you really have that frequently anymore, right? But this is a movie that will get you. It won't get you with everything, but it will get you. There were moments in this movie that I... One of my, horror, one of my favorite horror movies is Poltergeist, because there are moments that are truly terrifying. There are moments that are kind of like, whoa, what the fuck is going on here? Like... They really kick it up a notch, so to speak. Like the moment in the bathroom, which was a thing that done by Steven Spielberg, right? Where the guy is like clawing his face off. And then the moment in the pool where the uh, woman f keeps falling back into the pool with all those dead bodies, which were all real dead bodies, by the way. Real. Not like, you know, I'm not saying they were real within the context of the movie. No! They picked up actual skeletons. Sorry about that. They picked up actual skeletons and put them in that pool, and they didn't tell her that they were actual skeletons, and she kept falling into the pool, muddy water, real skeletons in that body of water. Oh, my goodness. And then the whole thing with the tree, I mean... There were moments in that movie that truly kicked it up a notch, and there are moments in this movie that do the very same thing, kicking it up a notch, making you go, whoa, whoa, hold the phone, what the fuck? You will definitely get that feeling watching this movie. It is a great independent horror movie that you need to fucking see if you're a horror fan. I was able to pick it up for about uh, five bucks originally, but that was only because it was on sale originally when I picked it up for 10 bucks at Best Buy, or on BestBuy.com. And I, because I had bought so much stuff at on BestBuy.com over the holidays, I had amassed enough points through Best Buy to get a $5 gift card, right? A $5 gift thingy certificate that they allow you to put the code in online, you know what I mean? You can either print out the coupon or you can... Uh, put the code in online. I opted to go for the online route. 
especially because of the time they were still doing free shipping. So I took advantage of it that way. And uh, so that made the 9.99 title at that time $4.99. Unfortunately, they shipped it to the wrong place. I ended up having to pay for shipping twice just to make sure that it got to the right place so that the shipping would be, the shipping, uh, the address would be correct. So, all in all, all told, I spent $7.99 on this, which, hilariously enough, is now, like, the basic price for this title. If you go, I believe, if you go on Amazon or you go on, uh, bestbuy.com right now you'll probably find it for about that price and it's worth every goddamn penny I mean I, I was kind of like frustrated enough to be like I don't care what the price is I don't care what I have to add on to get it to me just to make sure it shows up just fucking give me my movie that I paid for you know <laughs> and plus it's it's worth it you know it's worth made more than what I paid for it I was going to say made than what I poured for it <laughs> but yeah um, not a whole lot of special features on here but you get the bare minimum you get the commentary with writer director Ted Ted uh, Gigging 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 again director if you're watching this please please tell me how to pronounce your name I don't want to offend you or be that guy and producer Travis Stevens. See, now that's a name that can be pronounced. <laughs> uh, it's also got a behind-the-scenes feature, it, a trailer, and a teaser. So it's got the bare minimum. Those are like the three things that you need to have in every special features box. The commentary, the trailer, and the behind-the-scenes. It's easy. It's done. Finished. So, uh, yeah. Um... I really like this artwork, and sadly, there's not much, there's not here, nothing here, it's not like a really special release or anything like that, but at least the disc artwork is the same as the uh, cover, and the cover is fucking beautiful, so, yeah, worth it, pick it up if you find it, um, just check it out if you get the chance. Next up, and uh, of course, last but not least, since uh, I already explained that I only got two items, <laughs> is Duel. The classic Steven Spielberg movie Duel. It doesn't look like a classic from this cover, does it? No, no, it doesn't. This cover looks a lot like the cover for oh, Speed. Um, pretty much any action movie that's getting released on Blu-ray right now, they all have the same motif going for them. And so they, th I know exactly what went through the executive's head when they decided on this artwork. They said, now this is artwork that will sell to every crowd. Because they're not think they're thinking, well, nobody's going to remember Steven Spielberg's first movie, so why, or how are we going to sell this to them? How are we going to put this on Blu-ray and sell it to the right crowd? How are we going to get any, the, the crowds to buy this movie, right? The, the, the average crowd to buy this movie because they're the ones with all the money. Uh, well, let's make it look like every other action movie out there and then slap in small print on the front that it's Steven Spielberg's first film. And if you look closely, that's exactly what it says. Steven Spielberg's first film. Duel. Like, forget the fact that this is a widely considered to be a not only a classic film but just a perennial important fucking film in film history like jeepers creepers was inspired by it. a lot of other horror movies have been inspired by it. a lot of movies in general have been inspired by dual uh suspense movies in particular and that's what gets me about their decision with this box art because this box art is all action no suspense no anything else the movie is all suspense. Yeah, there's action in there, but it's all about the suspense. It focuses on the suspense, which is why it's become such a notable, important film in, in, in the like horror community. So, when I see... Uh, because the truck itself is kind of like a horror icon, you know? Because it's a horror, horrific thing. Somebody's 
chasing you down in the truck, right? And you don't know who they are, you can't see them, you don't know anything about them, all you know is that they're fucking psychopath. Psychopaths, man. Psychopaths are a key component of many horror films. So this is, was inspiring to a lot of, you know, horror icons that came after it, and um, it was inspiring to a lot of filmmakers in general. It was, it's an important film in film history. And this is the treatment it gets in regards to the, uh, the cover. I would be upset with that, but here's the thing. Even if it's a little gaudy, it's all right. It's a decent cover. It's way better than, like, Better Off Dead and stuff like that. It's just, it's much better than those. So, for that alone, I'll say, okay. But, if that were it, I'd be like, okay. But, I'm even more forgiving because of what you read on the back here. Of course, they have to play up the fact, again, that it's Steven Spielberg's first film. But... They also play out the fact that it is a digitally remastered and fully restored high-resolution print. Restored from original 35mm film elements. Read it for yourself. If, if, if you want to. <laughs> but yes, uh, this is a remaster. I don't know if it's 4K, but it's a nice remaster of a movie that previously, to my knowledge, was only ever available on fucking DVD. Only ever available, I think, in full screen. So, this is a 35mm widescreen print of the movie, I believe. So, that alone, awesome. You factor in the fact that it's a brand new transfer fucking awesome uh, theatrical version available for the first time in widescreen uh, it also comes with a bunch of bonus features a conversation with Steven Spielberg Steven Spielberg in the small screen which probably talks about how he was a uh, director for television before he did uh, most of his movies like Jaw and stuff like that and this was 1972 when he was still doing a lot of the stuff on the small screen so makes sense to have that as a bonus feature here. Uh, Richard Matheson, The Writing of Duel, Photograph and Poster Gallery, and Theatrical Trailer. So, there's not a whole lot of special features on here, but there's enough to warrant picking it up, which is why I didn't have a problem paying 10 bucks for this, as opposed to the price that I usually pay for, thing, for a Blu-ray, which is like, I won't go over $10. It's like, I said, fuck it, I want Duel in my collection and I'm tired of waiting. So, Duel, for 10 bucks. It's a pretty good price, quite honestly, you know? Would have been happy to pay 15 because of uh, the fact that it's uh, remastered and it's got some pretty interesting sounding bonus features, even though they're probably pretty short, you know? Still, nice. A nice little package. So, all told, these are the two movies I got. I think they're pretty damn good pickups. But, uh... Tell me what you think, and uh, let me know if you'd be interested in any of these yourself. If you're a fan of any of these movies yourself, or either of these, I should say, movies yourself. Uh, because I always like to hear from fellow fans of movies that I enjoy, you know? <laughs> Anyways, that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.